Let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. At least 14 people are dead following an accident in a coal mine in Siberia on Thursday, including three rescuers who were sent down as part of rescue efforts. At least 11 miners died in the initial accident when coal dust ignited in a ventilation shaft, filling the mine with smoke. At least 239 have made it above ground. However, the country's emergencies ministry fear there could be further casualties, including among rescuers. Recently, the bodies of three rescuers were found, and now they are being lifted to the surface. The fate of the three other rescuers is currently unknown. The search continues. Dozens of people are being treated in the hospital, some of them for smoke poisoning. Authorities say four are in critical condition. The mine is located in the coal-producing region of Kemerovo, some 3,500 kilometers east of Moscow. The region has suffered fatal mining accidents in the past, including in 2010, where an explosion at a mine killed more than 90 people. When you think of Thanksgiving in New York City, What's the first thing that comes to mind? Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And on Thursday, spectators lined the streets of Manhattan once again for the 95th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, as last year's event was scaled down and closed to the public due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Known for their massive character balloons floating down the streets of Manhattan, in all there were 15 balloons this year, including newcomers such as Grogu from The Mandalorian, the classic astronaut Snoopy once again appeared in this year's parade, the ninth version of the Snoopy balloon so far. While other U.S. cities host parades, New York's event has become an icon of the holiday tradition, being televised across the country to some 50 million viewers as they prepare for their Thanksgiving meals. Football fans across the world on Thursday paid tribute to football legend Diego Maradona, marking the one-year anniversary of his death. In a church in Garen, Argentina, family members joined a mass in his memory with a large portrait of the 1986 world champion on the altar. My dear ones, we're not here to celebrate death, we came to celebrate life. The life that Diego left us, the life that Diego gave us, and the life that Diego leaves it with his presence. Argentinos Juniors, his first pro football club, opened a sanctuary to commemorate Maradona while Italian club Naples, along with hundreds of its fans, paid tribute with an unveiling of a statue of the football legend in front of the stadium named after him. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.